Hello Wolfpack, uh, I want to make a quick announcement before this video starts. Now, the announcement will have been made by the time this video comes out in regards to Rock Exclusive, Wolves of Crypto Exclusive, the Telegram group where I'll post my trading signals. Now, you can find the information for that uh, posted down below. Uh, there's going to be a link in the comment section that will take you to the information group where you can read about it. Now, it's 40 USD per month, which works out to be $10 per week. Uh, and I can pretty much say uh, that the potential value you're getting out of the content in that group will be way more than $40 a month. And that's why the pricing is made like that uh, there's 25 slots only i want to make it very exclusive not everyone's going to be able to get into this right this is 25 slots so if you want to get in uh you should probably think about doing it uh rather soon before these slots fill out when the slots are filled the group will start and then every month it will refresh and those slots will be made available again but it's 25 slots available go check it out in the pinned comment below now let's get into the video for bitcoin okay and bitcoin uh as i've uh, spoke about yesterday extensively in a video i did yesterday is not in a double bottom formation okay a lot of people would have you believe that's a double bottom formation however there is amazing amount of evidence that we'll look into in a second to suggest that this was actually a bearish bat formation right and let's draw that right now now a bearish bat basically looks like this okay this is a bearish bat formation uh, and it basically suggests that the price will eventually return to the mean uh, at the bottom here between these two bottom uh, tops bottom uh, touches here. So essentially what it, what it kind of suggests, what a bearish bat formation suggests, let me rephrase that, is that the price will return to this bottom trend line and hence it will return to around 35k and probably break break below 35k and go down to the 35k region. But as for now, the target is 35k. Now, does that mean it has to happen on this specific move? Not necessarily. In fact, I think we will find a short-term bottom anywhere between 40k and the current price at 41.5k why is that well that's pretty simple the 21 week the 21 day ema and the 50 day sma are currently sitting in between that region as well as the factor on major support so it wouldn't be surprising to me if we see a short term bottom here before another swing up maybe retest 43k reject off this uptrending pink dotted line and then go downwards towards 35k. That wouldn't surprise me at all. However, I think it's unlikely at this point that Bitcoin swings upwards uh, anywhere past, you know, 47k. I think it's very unlikely. Uh, and more specifically, probably past 45.5k, this thick pink line. I don't think that's going to happen at this point. Uh, and there's multiple reasons for that uh, that I'll look into in a second. Now, one of the major reasons why I think this is because of the fact that we have a bearish divergence on the RSI. These highs are getting higher, slightly higher if you actually zoom in, or at least the same, and the RSI divergence is playing out uh, to the downside, which is bearish, which means it's probably going to break down, which does support that 35k theory. On top of this, on the green candles, we have de seen descending volume on the green candles, which means that when the uptrend is persisting, when the Trent Morris is moving upwards in two consecutive days or more, there is descending volume, which means less people are willing to buy than the day before, which means the momentum is essentially running out towards resistance. And so that is not a good sign at all for Bitcoin. Now, on top of that, and this is perhaps one of the most major signals, and this does support that bearish bat formation, is the fact that this move did not only reject off of the entire of the December lows at 45.5k, did not only reject off here as well, did not only reject off this major support, it also rejected off of the bull market support band, and if we head over to the weekly chart, we can see that this is not a good sign at all. And we can see that this weekly candle, which once looked pretty good a few days ago, or even yesterday actually, looks terrible now, right? If we close like this, that is a clear rejection followed by a massive price pushdown from the bull market support band. This is not how we want to close this weekly candle at all. This weekly candle needs to close above at least 43k and preferably above 46k for Bitcoin if we're going to have a chance of further bullish upswings. Now, the DXY is another chart I want to look into that is showing a bad sign for Bitcoin. We have 21 hours until the weekly candle close on the DXY, okay? Uh, and if we close the weekly candle on the DXY above 97.5, okay, that is going to lead to a breakout on the DXY above an ascending wedge formation, which is typically a bearish structure, by the way. It will also lead to a breakout above resistance if we close above 97.8, okay? So this is very important. Now, the DXY is a chart that essentially measures the strength of the US dollar in relation to other global currencies, major global currencies, and historically, it has had a strong reverse correlation to Bitcoin. When this thing goes up, Bitcoin goes down. That is the entirety of the Bitcoin bear market. When this thing starts to go down, Bitcoin starts to go up. When this thing levels out, Bitcoin is neutral. When this thing goes up, like it's been doing since November, Bitcoin goes down. And this trend is continuing right now. And if we do see a breakout out of this ascending wedge formation, 
uh, to the upside above this resistance, which is, by the way, is held for a long, long, long time or been there for a long, long, long time. So it's a major resistance. Bitcoin is going to go down further and that's going to be the guarantee we need, uh, you know, on top of the already very compelling evidence that Bitcoin is going to head down to new lows, possibly in the 20K region. Actually, most likely in the 20K region. So this is not a good sign for Bitcoin at all. If Bitcoin is going to be bullish, this thing cannot break out 21 hours into, a de into the weekly candle close. Very important time for DXY, very important time for Bitcoin. Now, it is worth noting as well, and, and another thing, I, I hate to just be the bearer of bad news, but, you know, it, it, I just have to do this. It's just for truth, right? Uh, interest rates, when they rise, typically lead to a bounce on the DXY, a long-term bounce, a macro bounce. Higher interest rates lead to higher prices on the DXY. Higher prices on the DXY lead to lower prices on Bitcoin. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. That's just how it is. So it's not looking good for Bitcoin in the macro scale as well. Now, a lot of you would be relying on this fractal. And I have told you guys so many times in the past, please don't rely on this fractal. Fractals are historically the least accurate way to predict price action. This is an anomaly or whatever that word is. I can't say it. This is a one-off. We have I've never seen a fractal this accurate before. This is a fractal torn directly from a 2018 dead cat bounce region. We've been talking about it since around Christmas time. Uh, and you can see it's absolutely perfect. It's played out absolutely exactly as expected on the fractal. But we cannot in continue to think it's going to do that, right? This fractal would suggest that now, in just about a week, we're going to be at 57k, okay? And that's just not logical. And and the reason why we can outlie that and, and kind of cut it out and say it's not going to happen is because this fractal also just suggests that in October this year, we'll be at 12k, all right? So it's pretty clear that... As we progress further throughout this fractal, we start to notice the intense differences between 2018 and 2022. It simply doesn't seem likely Bitcoin's going to go down this low, and so it doesn't seem likely as well that it's going to go up this high. I think that it's it's there's a considerable chance here that Bitcoin, uh, the top is in for Bitcoin in the shorter term. Okay, and I think we're probably going to start heading down towards 35k. I think that given the fact that interest rates are being risen or or debated upon, upon being risen or not uh, in, in a matter of, what, 11 days, uh, there could be some volatility that could potentially lead to one final upside swing to say 47k, which is where the 50-week SMA is. But it's either 47k and we reject or we reject here, in my opinion. I think the trend is downwards. I think the first step is 35k retest as per, as per the bearish bat formation. But ultimately, on a longer term scale, and this is a prediction I've stuck by since late November. You can go ahead and fact check me on that. Since this low 60Ks, this is a prediction I've stuck by since then. Uh, ultimately, on a longer term scale, I think we're going to end up at the 200 week SMA, which is currently at 20.2K. By the time we get there, we'll be any, anywhere between, say, 22K and 24K. I think that's where we're heading on Bitcoin. And I don't see any evidence to suggest otherwise at this point. In fact, I just see a lot of evidence to suggest that is becoming more and more likely. Now, Again, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news. I'm just saying it as I see it here on Bitcoin. And what I'm seeing is a fake double bottom formation to shake people out of the market. It was actually a bearish bat formation. Rejected off, rejection off the bull market support. Rejection off resistance. Now, we do have a chance for a shorter term uh, higher low here on, two, on the 21 week EMA and the 50 day SMA, which is the red and blue lines I've just brought up. There is a chance and there is a chance that from here we swing back up to 47. But even if we get there, there's a lot of evidence to suggest we go downwards. And ultimately, I don't think we're going to get there at, that, at this point. I think it's possible, but I don't think it's going to happen. So let's see what happens. But ultimately, longer term bearish. And ultimately, even if we, even if we jump up to 50k right now tomorrow, you know, we have to consider interest rates in 11 days, the effect that's going to happen on the market is is undoubtedly exponential. And so let's just wait and see what happens. But uh, again, the whole point of this video was to kind of just show you guys that 35k target from the bearish bat formation and the evidence that is coming through to support that. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, and I'll catch you in the next video.